thank you watch it for watching this is a how-to video to add a cable tv port to the outside of a bushwhacker this is a 17 fd um bushwhacker plus 17 fd and here's how to do it Uh, sorry about the blurry. There's the TV. Here's the port on the camper. I removed that already. I removed the USB port here to get this wire here up through. I'll show you how I did that in a minute. But I want to show you here. There is on this... connector there is a port I'm not able to focus in or see it but down in there this port here now this port and plugged into here is the cable TV in and to use that you have to have the Amplify the antenna off. When you have the amplified antenna off, that will work. Your in your cable TV import will work. <coughs> okay, so I'll show you how I got into where that port is. <laughs> Right here under the fridge, there's some insulation wires. I just push this coat hanger up in there. Taped about eight or 10 inches of wire to the coat hanger so that when I pull it through, it does not. Yeah. Disconnected. You're going to have to move that around a little bit when you pull it through so it don't get hung up on anything. And once you get it out, you can pull all the slack out that you need to get to where we're gonna add the port. Sorry if I'm drinking you dizzy. But now we have the port here with the cable pulled all the way through. We got some cable here with enough slack to get where we're gonna add the port. You just need a square number two bit to take them off. And then you want to lift the bed up. And where we're going to add the port is right below where the water comes in. That's about the closest spot to where, where we've got a connection. And I'll show you outside where we're going to make a hole. Be right back. Okay, here is where you're going to want to make the hole for the port. Put a little ink on here. I'm hoping to transfer that ink to where roughly where I want the hole. Got a little blotch mark right there, 
and I need roughly probably close to a half inch hole so I'll get a center of that little mark I made and get a hole made okay we got a hole where we need it port fits there nicely we can level it off have it where we need it now we gotta put the cable through i mean just barely enough hole for the cable to go through the inside to the outside and put a connector on it i'll show you inside what i do there okay here is my hole right below the water port right there take the cable to your wire hold it right through there all no, we'll go outside. Okay. Here is the cable TV wire outside. All we gotta do is put a connector on there. Screw the connector onto this adapter. Oop. Set it down. You don't want to seal around where that connector is and you're going to want to add some sealant where each one of these holes is going to go through the side of the unit to keep water out so i'll get closer there i'll get where i want to add those and i'll show you how we do that okay now we've got the connector installed right there. Crimp connector. Basically, I have this tool here that strips the wire exactly how the connector is needed to install. Then I use this coin tools crimper to crimp it on and that makes a good connection. You want to add enough cable when you're doing this so you can pull it out and work with it fairly easy and not have to fight with it. Then you have it so this connector fits fairly tight then I use this is duct seal it's like a non-hardening putty I'm gonna seal all the way around where the wire goes where the wire goes in here and I'm going to put a dab where each of the screws go through so when I put a screw in they will hold they'll seal once it's tight and that's how I add the cable TV so when you get to the campground you can just open this up and plug in when i had originally purchased the camper i got 
to the campground and went to go hook up and I noticed that there was nothing there to connect. Originally I went through Or the rear the refrigerator was, which it wasn't really proper and probably wasn't very the safest way to do it. But this here is safe. You're gonna be nowhere near where the fridge wires and the heat from that heating element are. You're not gonna be near that. It goes right underneath where there's room and it's not going to get hit by anything and it goes right up to the cable tv inlet in the amplifier if you have some you probably should probably i'm thinking i'm probably gonna spray foam where I knock that foam out. I'm probably going to spray foam or seal that up somehow. So that sealed up again. And that should do it. That way I am all set to connect when I get to the campground. Uh, thanks for watching and hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you do not have duct seal. This stuff here. You could always use silicone or some sort of putty i don't know what they use for putty on these but it seems pretty flexible so i i was that's why i use duct seal because it's flexible and it stays flexible for a long time but hopefully this work helps you any questions comments better ways to do it please comment and i appreciate you watching please like and share and subscribe this video with your friends thank you and have a nice day